31, we're going to find the constant term in the expansion of x cubed minus 2 divided by x, all raised to the uh, eighth power. So the constant term basically is the term uh, in front of x to the 0. So we get started. Uh, we're using this formula here. Of course, in your calculator, that's in uh, choose R. We're going to use in choose R that way. So I'm going to expand this where my n equals 8, my a equals x cubed, and my b is going to be negative 2x to the negative 1. I am rewrote uh, this and put the uh, x in the numerator. So it'll make it easier. So I'm going to write this out uh, formula. So that's going to be 8 choose r. My a is x cubed. And that's going to be to the n. So our n is 8 minus r. And then I have negative 2x to the negative first power r. Now what I want to do is solve for r knowing that x to the 0 is my constant term. So all I'm going to do is look at these x's right now and solve for r. So I'm going to uh, choose x cubed to the 8 minus r power. So do it like that and then we're going to do x to the negative 1. Negative 1 times r is negative r and we want to set this at equal x to the 0 um, so we can do this. So um, I have x to the 24 minus 3r times x to the negative r equals x to the 0 power. So we have x. Um, we're going to combine this using our product property of exponents. 24 minus 3r minus r equals x to the 0. Now since my bases are the same, so my bases are the same, I can just solve for r. So we have 24 minus 4r equals 0. So 24 equals 4r. Therefore r equals 6. Then all we're going to do is uh, plug that in here and uh, evaluate. So we're going to get 8 choose 6 x cubed to the 8 minus 6 power. Then we have negative 2x um, to the negative 1 to the 6th power like that. All right. Um, this is just 2, so you're going to get 8 choose 6 is 28. Um, 3 times 2 is 6, so this is going to be x to the 6th. Uh, negative 2 to the 6th is 64. And then we have uh, negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. So we get 28 times 64 is 1792. This is x to the 6, um, whoops, should be x to the negative 6. So this would be x to the negative 6. These two, when you add those up, that's going to be x to the negative 6, uh, plus 6, minus 6, which is x to the 0. So this is just x to the 0, which is our constant term. x to the 0 equals 1. Um, now, so our final answer is 1,792. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.